Chicago Robinson and the Illini have a tough game coming up against the Buckeyes. As we are currently ranked number three in the nation, Ohio State was formerly three, and after a loss last week, they have dropped down to number six in the nation. So that brings us down to the field as we are traveling away from Champaign and we are headed to Columbus as we get ready to take on number six Ohio State to see if we can continue our win streak here. Second and two starting out here for the Illini. Chicago Robinson running a quick speed option. He's going to end up pitching it and that's going to be a first down. Fresh set of downs now for the Illini. Robinson back to throw, stepping up in the pocket. He's going to take it himself. There's a flag on the play as he slides forward for the first down. This one might be coming back, though, and it is. After a holding, that brings up third 12. Robinson across the middle. He's going to connect with his tight end down inside the five. First and goal to go. Second and goal now. Play action rolling out to the left. Robinson stops, throws. That's completed for the first touchdown. The Illini go up 7-0 with that pass from Robinson as they take back over after getting a stop on defense here. Just past midfield. Play action. Robinson back to throw. Crossing route to the left side. He's going to complete that to his tight end just shy of the 10-yard line. That would bring up third and 10 now. Robinson in the shotgun back to throw. He's stepping up, taking it himself, and he's going to find his way on the ground into the end zone himself. As the Illini are going to go up 14-0 now over Ohio State on the run again. This time he's going to throw it. That's completed to his tight end. First and goal to go as that would bring up second and goal after an incompletion. Not so much this time. That's completed on the slant route for a touchdown as we go up 21-7 to here. Halfway through the third quarter, another slant route completion here for a first down. 28-14, Ohio State trying to fight their way back into this one. First and 10 as we're in the fourth quarter here. That's going to be completed to our tight end. Keeping this drive alive, third down now looking to continue staying alive. Left side on the check down route. That's going to be completed as we keep the ball moving. Another third and five, though. Robinson across the middle. That's going to be completed just short of the end zone. So on first and goal, play action. Rolling out to our right. Pressure coming. We're going to dump it off. And that's going to be another touchdown for Illinois as we would hold off the Buckeyes. And we are going to end up walking away with a victory here in Columbus over number six, Ohio State, 34 to 28. So after that win, that moves us up to number one in the nation. Right behind us is number two Big Ten opponent, Wisconsin Badgers. But before we get to take on the Badgers, we have a matchup here against Michigan, traveling up to Ann Arbor. Another tough matchup here in the big house this time. First and 10, opening up with the ball against the number 13 defense in the nation. We're going to go across the middle, complete this to our receiver. That's how we like to start our first possession. First and 10, looking for another first down, and we're going to get it as we complete this to our tight end on the corner route. Third and eight now, under center, back to throw. Across to the right seam, that's completed for a touchdown. The Illini will strike first, but we missed an extra point. I don't know what it is with our kicker and missing extra points. We missed the extra point to send it into overtime in the Orlando Bowl last year against Ole Miss. And now we're missing extra points again as we're down 14-9. Thankfully, though, we're going to complete this pass here and take the lead. 16 to 14. It should be 17 to 14, but a field goal here would give Michigan the lead. But that's not going to happen because we're going to take this ourselves. And this is our longest touchdown run yet of our career. As that would put us up by 9, 23 to 14. Right before half, we're looking to score again. Launching this to the end zone. That's going to be completed to Matt Brown for a touchdown. And we're going to go up 30-14 to 14 over Michigan. Headed into the second half. Third and one. That's going to be completed for a first. Backed up after a holding call now to a third 20. Robinson back to throw. He's staying calm, cool, collected in the pocket. That's going to fall just short, though. So Michigan somehow has come back, and they've taken the lead. 36-30. to 30. We're trying to put together a game-winning drive here. Second and 10 across the middle. That's dropped. Third and 12 now. Less than a minute to go. Back to throw. Rolling out. We're going to step up. Take it ourselves. Fight forward, and we're just short. Fourth in inches. Dropping back to throw. We're going to step up again and pick up the first down, but we're going down with an injury. We lost some games last year going out on the last drive with an injury, 
But thankfully, our backup comes in, we go down, we score, and we make the extra point. Believe it or not, we do it. We get a victory over number 13, Michigan, 37 to 36. As that brings us to the biggest week of the season, we have none other than the second ranked Wisconsin Badgers. We are number one in the nation still, they're number two in the nation still. And it is a tough matchup, our third game on the road again, as we're going up to Camp Randall and playing in Madison in the snow. This is gonna be a great matchup. Down early, 14 to nothing, start of the second quarter. This is our first time that we've been trailing this badly in a game. We put up no touchdowns, no field goals even, in the first quarter so we're looking to try to make this a one possession deficit third and one right side that's going to be completed first and goal to go on the speed option we're going to take it ourselves into the end zone and it's a one possession game is on second and two play action still down by seven a nice touch pass there to our tight end third and goal touchdown here could tie the game up against the badgers in the shotgun dropping back to throw we're looking and we're hit and drop for a loss. So we would settle for a field goal here near the end of the third quarter. Hit as we throw, but it's gonna be completed to Matt Brown. He's gonna evade his defender, and he is gonna take this one all the way to the house for a touchdown, and finally, we have our first lead of the game against the Badgers. On third and inches here, it would be a play action. We'd go to our tight end on the right side. He's gonna take a hit though. He's gonna put the ball on the ground and Wisconsin's gonna recover. So thankfully, we have a lead, 31-21 here. One more touchdown could seal the deal against Wisconsin. We pick up the first down just short of the end zone, but on second and goal, back to throw. We're going to step up, and Chicago finds the end zone himself. As that touchdown would seal the deal, and we are going to walk out of Camp Randall 11-0 with a huge victory over number two Wisconsin, 38-28. As with that win, we stay undefeated, and we are at number one. And right behind us is number two, undefeated Auburn. And we are currently projected to be in the national championship against them. So that brings us to our final game of the regular season here. And season number two, a win here is going to secure us a spot in the Big Ten championship. And it's against number 13, Penn State. Our second time of the season going up against ranked 13 team. Two games ago, we beat ranked 13, Michigan. We're looking to do it again here to Penn State as that's going to set up a second in inches just short of the goal line and we're going to open up with a touchdown to our tight end. Third and one now trailing Penn State by seven looking to tie it up. Robinson again he's going to step up show off his legs he's going to pick up the touchdown but somehow some way we missed the extra point again. I don't know what is up with our kicker. We need a new one. He needs to be taken off scholarship. So we're down by one, and we ended up knocking a field goal out of that possession either right before halftime. So this kicker is trying to blow the season for us here. Down by eight, first and goal. Go into the end zone. That's going to be completed for a touchdown, and we're going for two here. As Robinson back to throw, finds his tight end, and we convert. So we have to pick up the slack from our kicker as we're down by seven now after making that two-point conversion. Second and one right side, that's completed, and our tight end's going to fight his way into the end zone. Now 2.45 left to go, first and goal, and finally we take our first lead of the game. But Penn State's going to tie it back up a minute to go here. We're launching this one deep to the end zone. That's going to be caught for a touchdown. We take the lead with less than a minute to go. But somehow Penn State ties it up and then takes the lead in overtime. Don't ask me how they do it. Our defense is absolutely trash, but we're going to respond with a touchdown ourselves. 62 to 56. This game still isn't over yet. They went for two, missed it. We're going to score a touchdown here, and we're going to have to go for two as well. And of course, we would miss our two-point conversion. So we have the ball here going right to our tight end for a touchdown. It's 68-62. Going for the two-point conversion again. Can we get it? And yes, we will. We step up and take it in ourselves. So Penn State scored. They need this two-point conversion to send it into another overtime, and they are going to be just short. What a crazy overtime nail-biter. Illinois is going to cap off a undefeated regular season as we're going to win this one in I don't even know how many overtimes with a final score of 70-68 over the number 13 ranked Penn State Nittany Lions. So with that win, we have secured ourselves a spot in the Big Ten Championship. We finished the season at number one. We're going up against Iowa. TCU is currently now ranked number two behind us. So if you guys are excited for our first ever Big Ten Championship game, be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know your predictions down below.
I'll see you guys in the next one.